welcome to Aurora University's Spartan Athletic Park for today's NCAA Division III non-conference contest between the visiting Cardinals of North Central College and your Aurora University Spartans. Before we begin play and meet today's starting lineups, we ask that everyone please rise and kindly remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Good afternoon. Welcome to Spartan Athletic Park. It's the Cardinals and the Spartans, and we are underway to start off game one of our doubleheader here today. Cardinals, as I mentioned, out of North Central, mostly known for their football. They were going for the three-peat this year and ended up losing on a last-second play 
but they are an absolute powerhouse in D3 when it comes to football. Here we are with lacrosse, men's lacrosse. The Cardinals coming in at 5-0 and on the season, have yet to play a game in the CCIW. Spartans coming off a huge victory against Calvin here on Saturday. And they come in 3-3, three and three, have yet to play a game in the NAC. And that first game won't take place until the 30th of this month. They'll play up at Marion. They'll be right back at it on Saturday against Kalamazoo. The Hornets. Here the Cardinals with the initial face-off win, and the Spartans will get the first turnover, and they'll move it down the field. Dean Rowmaker. Four stall now in the corner. Brings this one back. Here's Bucci. He's picked up defensively by Jake Paris. There's a guy right there, and Owen Spencer. He likes to grip it and rip it. Between the hash marks on the wings, it doesn't matter. Here's Spencer with it, a spin move. Sheds the one defender. He wants to shoot. He does. And a really nice stop. We'll have a whistle. Let's see what this whistle's going to be. I believe they are going to give this to the Spartans. Aiden Murphy. Junior out of Lindenhurst, Illinois, between the pipes. Tom Everhart, one minute penalty for slashing. That was the stoppage. First man up for either team here today. The Spartans will have it. Here's Leader on the near wing. Back out to the point that we're moving it around perimeter wise and they're closing in that circle. Here's Leader. Shoot. Oh, nice stop. I believe that one went right off the foot, and it did. You can see Aiden Murphy holding up that near foot. That one hit right off the toe. Spartans will. Yeah, we have a whistle just before the shot. And it looks like a reset on the shot clock back to 80. Spartans on the extra man. They'll work the perimeter. Here's Strub. Nice stop that time by Murphy. But the Spartans will regain it back out at the point. Dylan Cranges out at the point. There's a nice stop by Aiden Murphy. And between the pipes for the Spartans, number 35, Asher Deputy. He's the NAC Men's Lacrosse Player of the Week. That outstanding game against Kelvin. <clears throat> Another powerhouse out of the state of Michigan. Usually it's Hope, Calvin. Those two are big rivals in the state of Michigan. One out of Holland, one out of Grand Rapids. And what a comeback it was by the Spartans to win that contest. Now North Central moves it in. That's Dakota. McQuarrie now at the point. Drops it down low to the post. That one ended up hitting the post. And the Spartans pick it up. And that was Zach Manuel that came up with the loose ball. Now the Spartans. Ben Strub along the near wing. Strub loses his balance. Gets right back up. Dakota could not stay with him. Here's Bucci. Chris Bucci. Forstall on the far wing. Now we'll, well, thought he was going to move it behind the cage. Someone you don't see out there that's normally out there, number 43, Rylan Pura. Usually out on the near wing or behind the cage. Now 
Luke DuPont right out front causing a little chaos. Now the Spartans will tighten that circle up just a little bit more. That's the shot, point blank shot that time by DuPont. Misses it, but the Spartans will come up with it. <clears throat> Here Spencer tries to skip that one underneath Murphy. Spartans closest player will get it with 50 on the shot clock. Laura looking to maintain that momentum off that win against Calvin. There's a shot and score! Carson Leader from the near wing makes it one nothing Spartans at 9.49 of the first. Three four combo of leader from McDonald. Makes it one nothing Spartans. Four leader, that's his seventh goal this season. And McDonald, that's his fourth assist of the 2024 campaign. Now North Central tries to scoot one underneath Deputy. That one didn't work. Riley McQuery, senior from Washington, Illinois. 9-10 left here in the first one nothing Spartans. There's Anderson. They'll move it over to the near wing. Now behind the cage. Over to the far wing. Spartans, their stingy defense. Not allowing much. Trying to go short side. That one didn't work. Elgin could not get that one by Deputy. Tried to go short side. Deputy pinned to that post. Takes another big stop. Here's Strub with it for Aurora. Looking to go up two to nothing. Strub right in the middle. Tried to go near post. Low on Murphy. Just missed. Spartans closest to the ball will regain the possession with 51 seconds on the shot clock and 8.13 on the game clock. Spartans still expand that perimeter. Here's Spencer. He's going to move it in on the near hash mark. But Dylan Milarich was all over Spencer. Twenty-five on the shot clock. Here's Forstall. Brought it toward the far post. Tried to go top shelf on Murphy. Spartans running out of time with 20 on the shot clock. Here's Leader with it. And they are way outside what they would normally shoot. Spencer, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Spencer, one-on-one -on -one with Milarich. Here's Spencer. Spencer tries to go low on Murphy. And Murphy up to the task. And here come the Cardinals. Down one to nothing. Nice hit that time by Menarich. And Strub comes up with it. Oh, he wanted, it looked like he wanted to keep it himself. Last second, he tried to throw that one off. And it ended up going into the stick of Murphy. And another turnover. This time, Spokely comes up with it for Aurora. There's a shot. Oh, that hit. Let's see who that was. Number 32, Rutger Rawlings. He went down almost like hockey where you just give up your body to stop the shot. That basically looked like exactly what he did. But either way, that one's going to leave a mark. 
Spartans with it up one to nothing. Granges out at the point. Now Forstall moves it near side to McDonald. <clears throat> Chris Bucci on the near wing. He's going to move it in on the left wing. Drops it off to Forstall. Had a couple goals in the Calvin contest. Nice move that time by Bayan. And another stop by Murphy. Impressive between the pipes here early on. Spartans up one to nothing, 5.56 left to go here in the first. Game one of our doubleheader in North Central. Throw this one away. Dylan Cranges, sophomore from Springfield, Oregon. Stopped at 5.50. Cool spring afternoon. Women's lacrosse will come up at 7 o'clock. After a big win against University of Wisconsin River Falls on Saturday, they bring in another University of Wisconsin. This time it is... UW Lacrosse. Spartans up one to nothing. Here's Spencer. Oh, started low, then a rising shot went over the top of the crossbar. Aiden Murphy has played solid so far for North Central. Spartans up one to nothing, five ten left here in the first. Here's Forstall. Brings it back out, split the defenders. Oh, it tried to go far post. Good idea. DuPont. And the Spartans on the near wing. That's leader. Gets it out to McDonald. Swings it over to Spencer. Spencer goes left. Tries to draw the double team. Forstall hit and score. Forstall was hit, but Chris Bucci came up with the ball and shot it about shoulder high on Murphy. And it's two to nothing, Spartans. Forstall with the assist. And it's 2-0 Spartans. I mentioned Spartans coming in 3-3 three and three overall. Back at the 500 mark. North Central 5-0. Oh. Ground ball picked up. Kuyva loses it, and there's a huge shoulder hit, and that's going to be a penalty. Tom Eberhardt will see the sin bin for the second time here today. And the Spartans will go a man up for the second time. They are 0 for 1. Spartans up two to nothing with 4.22 left. This time it's only 30 seconds for pushing. The Spartans will have to move quick. Here's Strub. Back out to Strub on the far wing. Back out of the point. That's going to be Cran just now Strub with it. And Strub looked like he was trying to pass that one to Leader. Looks like that's probably going to be it for the penalty as North Central with the possession. It was only a 30 second.
can't find the ball that time on the pass. Charlie Schneider. And the penalty's over. Spartans 0 for 2 on the extra man. Eberhard, who was in the box for the second time, has collected a minute 30 in penalties. Takuna. With 3.25 left in the first, 2 nothing Spartans. Takuna on the near wing for North Central. Now they'll start moving it over to the far wing. Charlie Schneider. He's going to move it right between the hash marks. This one went low on Deputy, and that one went wide. Trying to... Underarm, that one back in. That one couldn't do it. Ball still loose. Cardinals, that's Eberhard comes out with it. And Aurora will come out with it. Here's Deputy. Ethan Dome with it. Looking for an outlet pass. 235 and counting. Deputy way outside. Now here's a long stretch pass all the way down to Forstall. This one bouncing around Forstall. And the Spartans. Yeah, who's going to come up with it? This time it's the Cardinals. A couple Spartans right there, and the Cardinals able to come out with it. Big hit from behind. Ryland McQuarrie right there lost the ball. And again, you can hear the players and the fans telling them, look out from behind, but it's too late. Seventh turnover for the Cardinals already. Nice cradle that time by Owen Spencer. One forty left here in the first. It's 2 nothing Aurora. Goals by Leader and Bucci. Assist by McDonald and Forstall. Spartans looking to take a three to nothing lead. Carson Leader already with one tally to his credit. And the Spartans will turn this one over. Forstall knew it as soon as he released that pass. There was a problem with it. <clears throat> Rawlings. Tacona. That misses one of the Cardinal sticks, but finds another one. Here's Tacona. Shot and score. Joey Tacona makes it 2 1. Ilgen with the assist. Lead cut in half, 2-1 with 52.7 seconds left here in the first. You can hear the collisions all the way up here. Here's Zach Manuel with it. Drops this one off to McDonald. And we have a penalty. It looks like it might be, let's see, is it going to be off sides? Let's see what the call is going to be. Have to walk all the way over to the table. And it looks like North Central pleading their case. Dylan Anderson might be the guilty party here. Somebody's got to go. Saw some laundry on the 
field, and it looks like it's going to be Kavea is going to go in the penalty box. Let's see what it's going to be for. Still no call. Oh yeah, it looks like it is. It's going to be offsetting. Looks like that's Rowmaker in there for the Spartans. So each team, a player down for the final 25 seconds. Deputy will come up with this one after knocked out of the wickets there of Eberhardt. <clears throat> and then the Spartans will turn this one over with 11.4 seconds left. Here comes Dakona. Already has a goal. Six seconds. And I believe they're just going to hold this. That's what the call is from the sidelines. So at the end of one, it's 2-1 Spartans on a goal by Carson Leader and Chris Bucci. Assist by McDonald and Forstall and for the Cardinals. Joey DeCona with the goal, assisted by Luke Ilgin. 17 shots for the Spartans, 6 for the Cardinals. Each team 0 for on the extra man. Cardinals 0 for 1, Spartans 0 for 2. 15 to 7 ground balls in favor of Aurora. Turnovers 8 to 4 leaning on the side of the Cardinals. We'll be back with the second in about a minute 39. It's 2-1 Spartans here on athletics.aurora.edu. underway here in the second it's two to one Spartans the Cardinals will be on their second extra man to start the second Dean Rowmaker in the box Cardinals 0 for 1 Spartans 0 for 2 on the extra man Cardinals looking to tie this one up, and they do. 
Tom Everhart. After a couple penalties, he finds the back of the net on a man up goal. Kuna now with a goal and an assist. Eberhardt with the man up goal, evens it up 2-2. Well, that did not take long. Cardinals one for two on the extra man. Spartans will be going left to right here in the second and in the fourth. Query drops this one off. Charlie Schneider, <clears throat> who has worked a point most of the time today. He lowers the shoulder, goes one-on-one -on -one with Boss Hart. Very physical contest. There's a shot in the middle, and then a behind-the-back shot by Eberhardt. Wow, that was a fancy shot. Got her that time with the assist, but man, oh man. He caught it, put it behind the back. They're actually going to give the assist that time, not to DeCuna, but to Vitale. Jude Vitale with the assist. After a 2 nothing start by the Spartans, three-goal run by the Cardinals, and they find themselves with a one-goal lead. Here's Boss Hart for Aurora. Tyler Forstall, sophomore out of St. Louis, Missouri. Spartans looking to tie this one up with 13.25 left until halftime. They'll move it to the far side of the field. Carson Leader. Here's Spencer. That's his strong side. Shooting from the left. McDonald keeping the ball away. Low shot that time. Picked off by the Cardinals' Jake Paris. Now North Central. And Everhart will come up with it. Everhart feeling a lot of momentum. And looks like we're going to have a timeout. Called by head coach Jay Farrell for North Central. We'll step aside. It's 3 to 2 Cardinals, 12:34 left till halftime here on athletics.aurora.edu.
Jay Farrell at the helm of the Cardinals calls the timeout back underway here with 12.28 left till halftime. Schneider and the Cardinals play a very physical contest. You can see how it's been going so far to Kuna. They'll move it to the far side. That was Ilgen, now out to McQuarrie at the point. McQuarrie. Kyle Bosshart all over him. Bosshart keeping McQuarrie out past his comfort zone as far as where he wants to shoot. Tally swings it over to Snyder and then Snyder goes cross field to Dakuna. And that's going to be a shot clock violation on the Cardinals. First one of the contest goes to North Central. This will stay with the Spartans and Dean Rowmaker. Deputy swings it over to Benjamin Jasper. Jasper with a long pass. Finds Forstall. Forstall splits the defenders. He tries to go low on Murphy, and Murphy was ready. <clears throat> and the Cardinals will turn this one over. Rowmaker comes up with it. Now here's Owen Spencer on the near wing. Spartans with a couple opportunities to tie this game up. Let's see what they can do here with 10.45 left until halftime. I mentioned the Spartans out to a 2 to nothing lead and then a 3-0 run by the Cardinals and they are up by one with 10.35 left. Spartans going left to right. Swings it way outside. Here's McDonald. McDonald, nice cradle, went left, now right. McDonald stopped, then he'll go left. He'll spin back to the right. Tries to bounce this one past Murphy. Spartans closest to it, and that would be Tyler Forstall. Twenty-nine on the shot clock. Here's Owen Spencer. This is a strong side. Now move it to the left. And he'll try to bounce this one past Murphy, and this one won't work. 18 on the shot clock for Aurora. McDonald with it as we're down to 10 on the shot clock. Tried to go in on Murphy, and Murphy with another stop. Three, two Cardinals. Cardinals out of the CCIW, Spartans out of the knack. Lutz back out with it. Lutz on the far wing. Well, there's a pick play, and I believe that's going to be called right there, and it is. Kind of, you could hear it from up here. And I believe that one, it's going to be Ilgen, the guilty party. Spartans will come up with it. Asher Deputy. <clears throat> Long pass out to Boss Hart. And the Spartans will set up. That was Strub. Now Mikhail Bayan. Back to Straub on a strong side. He'll grip it and rip it, and Murphy with a nice stop. 8.35 and counting, still 3-2 to two Cardinals. And the Cardinals turn it over deep in their zone. More Spartans than Cardinals. Here's DuPont, and as he was shooting it, he was obstructed by Tucker Hansen. Boy, the Spartans had numbers right there, too. If it wasn't for Hanson obstructing that one. Here's Strub. 
And Murphy with another stop. UW Lacrosse arriving at Spartan Athletic Park for their contest at seven. Here it's three to two North Central out of Naperville. Spartans trailing by one. Here's a shot. Deputy with another good read that time on a shot by Dakota. Here comes Aurora right down the seam. And this one just missed the far post. By Brody McDonald. Last contest out. Got his 100th career goal against Calvin. McDonald receives that pass. Aurora looking for the equalizer to even this one up at three. 7.05 and counting till halftime. Here's McDonald. Out at the point, drops it down low. That was DuPont. Now the Cardinals up by one with a chance to increase their lead. Tom Everhart, who has a man up goal and a regular goal. With the ball out on the near wing here at the 40. He was picked up defensively by Ethan Dome. That's a good matchup right there. <clears throat> Dakota went right then left. Tried to bounce that one in and we got a flag. And this one is going to be on, I believe it's going to be Aurora. Dean Rowmaker may be going back to the penalty box. Looks like it is. One minute for slashing for Rowmaker. North Central with the man up. They have connected once on the man up. Boy, low passing this time by the Cardinals. And they'll move it to the near wing. That's McQuarrie. This one wide on a shot by Schneider. There's a shot and score. Charlie Schneider with the man up goal makes it 4 2 North Central. McQuarrie will get the assist on the man up goal by Schneider. Cardinals with a two goal lead with 5.50 left here in the first half. Half of the Cardinals' goals have been on the man up. Eberhardt with a man up goal and now Schneider. 4-0 run by the Cardinals. They are up by two with 5.50 left here in the first half. Face off picked up by the Cardinals. Jake Paris. Looks like his brother Luke out there, also number 33. Dylan Anderson on the far wing for North Central. That's Luke Paris. Tried to connect out front with Vitali. That one didn't work. But the Cardinals maintain the possession. Luke Ilgin. 
Gets it over to Anderson. Anderson moving out, out to the point. And he will lose that one. And Benjamin Jasper will come up with it for Aurora. Cardinals needing a, Spartans, excuse me, needing a goal here. Down by two with 4.32 left till halftime. Forstall with it. Bucci on the near wing, back to Forstall. McDonald, 4.10 left till halftime. Spartans looking to cut into this two goal lead by the Cardinals. 26 to 12, favor the Spartans on shots, but they trail four to two. Here's Forstall. They'll move back toward the near post, right behind the cage. Trying to find a teammate out in the middle. Owen Spencer. He'll move it toward the near post. Looking to dispense this one, and he does, and DuPont scores. Just what the doctor ordered with 3.32 left. It's now 4-3 Cardinals. Spencer with the assist on the DuPont goal, and it's 4-3. Twenty-seven to twelve in favor of the Spartans in shots. Three thirty-two left here in the first half, and Zach Manuel come down with it for Aurora on the faceoff. Now Ryan Pura, who's out there, let's see if he assumes the normal position behind the cage and that's right where he goes to. So he's the point man behind the cage. He's kind of the field general once he gets the ball. Here's the Spartans. Shot right over the top of Aiden Murphy. That shot by the leader was an absolute missile. Here's Pura. He navigates the field. He sees what's going on up front. Oh, it leaves his player and scores! Oh, no, off the side of the net. Talk about juking someone right out of their shoes. Pura did that to Tucker Hansen. Yikes. Cardinals trying to come up with this one. Can't keep it in play. It'll be Spartans ball with 2.23 left. Four to three, Cardinals. Here's a long pass out to Chris Bucci, who already has a goal here today. Spartans looking to tie it up, going into halftime. Ryland Pura. Junior from Warrington, Virginia. Talk about an area that uh, plays a lot of lacrosse. Here's Forstall. Had that one knocked out of the wickets at the last second. And now the Cardinals will come up with it. They're going to push it right up the field. That one knocked out of the wickets of Watanabe. And we have a whistle. And let's see who this is going to be on. And looks like Forstall is going to be taking a knee. So another extra man for the Cardinals. And they've connected on two so far. This is where the... Aurora Ponce is on number 50, Tyler Forstall. One minute for slashing. One minute for slashing. Oh, no. Penalty kill right here is going to be huge for Aurora. That was Schneider out at the point. Then a shot by McQuarrie. Here's Schneider again. Tries to bounce this one past the deputy. And it looks like we're going to have a reset. 
to 60 on the shot clock. 119 left on the game clock. Boy, the Spartans can come up with this one. This would be huge. Here's McQuarrie. Back out to Vitali. Snyder out at the point. And they work it in to another man up goal, this time by Luke Ilgen. And it's 5 3. Charlie Schneider, a couple points here today. And it's 5 3 with 60 seconds left here in the first half. North Central putting another tally up for the Spartans. Smart play here in the final 60. They can get a good shot. They can win this face off. Oh, right behind Strub and he couldn't come up with it. Still down on the turf. Picked up by Rieger. And now the Cardinals can work the rest of this clock. But it looks like they're not wasting any time. They want to try to tally another one. Here's a shot by Dylan Anderson, and this will be another timeout with 33.2 seconds left. Looks like North Central will call their final timeout here in the first half. 5-3 Cardinals with 33.2 seconds left here in the first half on athletics.aurora.edu. Timeout on the field. out of the second timeout called by Jay Farrell for North Central. Obviously they're drawing up a play. Here's McQuarrie. Brings it back out to the point. That's Luke Paris. One on one with Boss Hart. 17 seconds on the clock. North Central and they score. Luke Ilgen with another goal. That's his second. And now it's 6 3. Ilgen took it from behind the cage, came near post, and as soon as he got about a foot, maybe a foot and a half out front of the cage, he just turned around and basically shot that one right by Deputy. All right, breakdown defensively there for Aurora. Now it's a three goal lead. Six seconds left. Let's see if the Spartans can try to get one off here. That's That was Funk and the Cardinals. We'll just throw this down the length of the field and your score at halftime, it's six to three, North Central. Three man up goals by the Cardinals. Eberhardt with one, Ilgen and Schneider each with one. 
Joey DeCona with a goal, Everhart with a regular goal, and Ilgen with a regular goal also. And for the Spartans, Carson Leader, Chris Bucci, and Luke DuPont are the three goals for Aurora. 29-18, Spartans with the edge in the shots. Cardinals perfect on the extra man, 3 for 3. Spartans 0 for 2. 24 to 20 ground balls in favor of Aurora. Turnovers 14 to 7. Cardinals in the lead there. We are at halftime. It's 6 to 3. North Central here in athletics.aurora.edu.
All right, back with the start of the second half. And North Central not wasting any time. And Deputy with a nice stop to get things going here in the second half. Kyle Bosshart. Bucci over to Forstall. Spartans going right to left. Here's Spencer. Now Forstall behind the cage. Six to three is your score. 14.05 left here in the third. This one down on the turf, and who's going to get it? Still down. Aurora picked this one up and coming out. Then Chris Bucci. Tyler Forstall swings it up to Owen Spencer at the point. Spencer goes left, and he scores. Owen Spencer. His second point of the day, 6-4. Spencer. Spencer went low that time on Aiden Murphy. And the Spartans now within two. Six four, North Central. And this will go to the Spartans. Major League Baseball opening day not too far away. March Madness. Brackets. See if somebody can pull off a miracle and get every one of them correct. Here's Spencer. He went right, left, and then right. And Murphy with a nice stop. NFL draft coming up. A lot of, lot of big things happening in the world of sports. Ilgen on the near wing for North Central. Here's Ilgen. Tried to go right underneath Spokely. Spokely didn't allow it. Here's Ilgen. How about that stop that time by Deputy? On a laser beam by Ryland McQuarrie. Here's Strub. Right up the middle. And a nice stop by Murphy. Went one on one. Ben Strub that time. Nice long pass that time by Rawlings. Eleven twenty-four left here in the third. Six-four Cardinals. Charlie Schneider is having a pretty good day. Man up goal and an assist. Deputy. Another nice stop. Joey Dacuna 
Got close, but he paid for it. And now the Spartans looking to close within one. Here's McDonald. You have to expect if you get that close to the goalkeeper, you're going to catch a couple shoulders, and it's going to get physical, and that's exactly what happened right there. Now the Spartans looking to get back into this one. Pura out at the point. That's Kranjus on the far wing. Here's Forstall. Spartans on the near wing. Here's McDonald. McDonald going to move it back toward the middle. Finds Pura. Pura's going to move in. Then he withdraws. Pucci looked like he wanted to try to shoot that one. And Murphy with a nice stop on a line drive by Kranjus. Now North Central. And the Eagle with its nightly pass coming over the top of the stadium. Usually makes an appearance. Six to four is the score. Brody McDonald on the near wing. Trying to find Forstall. Cardinals on the near wing. That's Ilgin again. He'll draw the quick double team. He loses the handle. Trying to come up with it. Cardinals do. There's a shot by Ilgin and that one will be negated. Now the Spartans look to come out with it. Here's Bosshart. Bosshart right down the seam. Almost like he was going to leave him unattended. And then he throws this one behind McDonald and turns it over. Tucker Hansen, junior out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Marlon McQuarrie. Seven sixteen left. Here in the third, it's six four. Then the Cardinals turn it over, and now it's time for the Spartans, and then they turn this one right back over to North Central. Tenth turnover for Aurora. And the Spartans will call the timeout. It's 7.04 left here in the third. It's 6-4 to four North Central with the lead. Timeout here in athletics.aurora.edu.
Out of the timeout called by the Spartans. Cardinals will have it, and that's another goal this time by Charlie Schneider, and he's got the hat trick. Well, make that three points. Query with his second assist. Schneider with a man up goal and assist and a goal, so he's got three points. That one's going to hurt. You're going to leave Schneider that open. He's going to make you pay, and it's 7-4, back to a three-goal lead. Everhart with the ball. Picked up by Ethan Dome. Seven to four, back to a three goal lead, North Central. And they'll have the ball. Bakuna right out front and another goal, this time by Eberhardt. And he has the hat trick. And just like that, it's eight to four. Boy, North Central right now in control of this one with 613 left here in the third. Eight to four. Spartans with 33 to 24 edge and shots. North Central perfect on the man up. 16 turnovers for the Cardinals, only 10 for the Spartans. Boy, Aurora needs one bad and they need one right now. Here's Owen Spencer out of the near wing. And then bounces one to Forrestall, and this will be North Central ball. Boy, right now, Aurora not looking like the Spartans of old from Saturday. Dakota on the near wing for the Cardinals. Uno. And another goal by Eberhardt. Dakuna with another assist, and that's the fourth goal for Eberhardt today. And it's 9 4, five goal lead now. Right now, the Joey DeCuna, Tom Everhart show. Everhart left alone right out front, and he's made it look easy. Deputy with the ball, throws it out to Strub. Now Strub will move it in into the Spartan attack zone, then he'll wait. One goal at a time right now for the Spartans. I said they needed to score last time, they definitely need to score now. Nine to four, down by five. Here's Forstall on the far wing. Here's Strub, moves it to Spencer. Spencer went left and right and then throws this one away. Right now, everything in favor of the Cardinals. Dominic Rohr 
Leaves this one for Evan Watanabe. Alan McQuarrie. Here's Takuna now with it. He'll move it over to the near wing. 9 to 5, 344 left here in the third. And Takuna will move it in. Leaves it. By Elgin that time. Came from behind the cage. Caught it at the near post. Then lost it. Cardinals retain the possession with 40 on the shot clock. Here's McCreary. Splits the defenders. Tries to bounce this one in on Deputy and can't do it. Everhard tried to come down with it and can't. Here's Dome. Nice pick there by Bosshart. McDonald with it. He'll have 56 on the shot clock and 248 on the game clock. Here in the third, Spartans trail 9 to 4. Here's Leader. Tried to find Pura, and then Pura missed that one and another turnover. Aiden Murphy swings it out to Rawlings. Rawlings turns it over. Here comes Aurora. Here's Strupp right over to midfield Stripe. Finds McDonald. 18 to 13 Cardinals with the edge in the turnovers. Too many for both teams here today. Let's see what Strub does. He'll go left along the near hash mark. Tries to bounce that one in. That one ended up hitting the post. Murphy tried to play that one short. Buck 45 left here in the third. Corsell with it. He's knocked down. And now Eberhardt. Four goals, a man up goal and three goals. And this one will go through also. McQuarrie makes it 10 to four. One twenty-two left here in the third. Time for a reset here for the Spartans. Down by six. And the faceoff will be given to Aurora. Here's Brody McDonald. seconds left here in the third. Aurora down by six. They need one here. Here's Forstall along the far hash mark. Score! Tyler Forstall with his first goal, second point of the day. 10-5 now. That stops the bleeding right there because North Central has not missed here in the third. And that was a much needed goal. Ten five. Here's the face off. Fifty one point one seconds left here in the third. And the Cardinals will come down with it. Cavea. He'll slow it down on the near wing. Cardinals content 
We're just running this clock out if they can here in the third. Big move in by McQuarrie. This one looked like hit a body on the way through. Everhart trying to come up with it. He somehow kept that one alive. Now the Spartans will come up with it. Zach Klug. But now the Cardinals have it in the final 5.5. They try to drop this out front and a big stop by Deputy. That was a huge stop to keep it at 10 to 5. Fourth period coming up. Spartans down by 5 here in Athletics down Aurora.edu. fourth period. Cardinals will now be going right to left. Spartans left to right and now the Cardinals will just turn it over. They didn't like that call but they have a five goal lead. Let's see what the Spartans can do here. Here's Carson Leader. Spartans down by five, ten to five. Of the women's game against UW River Falls. That one went into double overtime on Saturday. That was a fun one because it was the golden goal and nobody could score. Here's Spencer. Oh, it went low on Murphy and it looks like that one bounced off his leg. This time UW Lacrosse is in town. A couple of University of Wisconsin extensions in town to Take on your Spartans. That game coming up at 7. UW River Falls women in, winning the Women's National Championship in hockey. Going undefeated. I believe it was 31-0. That's, that, that is, uh, that's incredible to have an entire season with no losses could go down as one of the best teams ever is what they were saying on the NCAA website. 
There have been some great teams out there, but this one they say could possibly be the best. And Deputy with another nice stop. Championships kind of winding down. Men's Division Three basketball. That went to Trine University out of Angola, Indiana. They win the D3 championship. Spring sports in uh, full swing. Softball, we had a doubleheader Saturday. Doubleheader here also. Baseball. Nationally ranked in the top 10 in the country are the Spartans. Here's Pura. Forstall. Score! Absolute missile, and that's going to be his second goal for Tyler Forstall. And now it's 10-6. Spartan goal is scored by number 50, Tyler Forstall. Looks like that one's going to be unassisted. Shots starting to even up a little bit. 37-31 now for the Spartans. 19-13 Cardinals in the lead with the turnovers. Ground balls 32-31 in favor of the Spartans. Man up. Cardinals perfect. 3 for 3 on the day. Spartans 0 for 2. Zach Manuel trying to pick up this ball off the faceoff. And he does. Finds Pura. Pura with a nice cradle that time. He's gone left, he's gone right. Now he's went left and then back out toward the point. Kale Byan on the wing. Strub over to Forstall, who's been on fire as of late. Looked like he wanted to take that shot, and then they threw it away, trying to find Bucci, and they turned it over. Clear, cool afternoon now turning into evening. Cardinals up. 10-6 with 11.22 left here in this contest. Query having a pretty good day. A couple assists and a goal. Trying to find McQuarrie, and this one's going to be turned over. 20th turnover for the Cardinals. Rowmaker, you can hear the collision. And I believe the Spartans are going to be guilty of a delay of game. Dean Rowmaker. one out of frustration and let's see what the Spartans can do. Cardinals perfect on the day. 3 of 3 on the extra man. Here comes Ryland McQuarrie on the near. Thirty seconds. And they score right off of that. Schneider. He's got the hat trick. That's his second man up goal. Nakuna, that's his third assist. He's got four points. Schneider making a living with the man up. 11 to 6. Spartans with the faceoff. 
Ian Funk. Cardinals will get it. Here's Eberhardt. Man up goal and three regulars. He's got four on the day. Anderson moves it in. Boy, North Central not wasting any time. Deputy with a nice stop. 11-6, back to that five goal lead. Under 10 left. Owen Spencer. Spartans need to take a little bit of time here and get a good shot. Here's Strub right up the middle. And the rebound and the score. Murphy gave up the rebound, and Brody McDonald made him pay. 11-7. Well, Aiden Murphy gave up that rebound, and Brody McDonald makes him pay. It's 11-7. And the Spartans will win the faceoff. Nice pickup. Liam Pfeiffer. Freshman out of Chaska, Minnesota. Everhart swings it over to McQuarrie. Now the Cardinals will start to chew up some time on this clock. 11-7, 8.55 left. Forty-eight on the shot clock. Dakuna. Pretty good day. Three assists and a goal. North Central moves it over to the far wing. Here's Everhart. He was trying a quick shot, and that one didn't work. Zach Klug this time. Now the Spartans with their foot on the gas. Here's Bayan behind the cage. Moves it to the far wing. Here's Spencer. Seven fifty five left. Eleven to seven North Central. Game one of our double header. Here's McDonald. Here's Strub. Tried to drop that one down to McDonald. And let's see who's gonna come up with it. McDonald does. He didn't see the initial pass, but he got it back. Here's Owen Spencer on the near wing. 7.24 left. Spartans looking to make this 11-8. to eight. Here's Spencer. He went right. Picks up the double team. Now Strub on the wing. He's going to go right, and then he's going to go left. Tried to go for the far post. Good idea as Murphy was guarding that near post. Pura out to leader. Here's leader. Murphy gives up yet another rebound. Spartans sitting ready to pounce. That's McDonald. Oh, he tried to go. I think he was trying to go high that time, and maybe that was partially deflected off of a north central stick. Milarich. Came up with that for North Central. Now Ryland McQuarrie with 6.25 left. 11-7. 
Spartans trail, Cardinals with the ball. Query swings it over. That one right into the sun, and Dakuna couldn't see it. Now the officials will get together, and not sure if you caught that on the live mic, but they can't see anything looking into that low sun. And they'll give it to North Central. Partially tipped off of a Spartan stick. Here's Dylan Anderson. Query almost turned that over. Zach Manuel all over him. Manuel structs that pass. That's Ilgen. He tried to go outside the far post, and that one right over the top of the crossbar. Six on the shot clock. And North Central. I don't know if that's going to be categorized as a shot clock violation either way. Spartan ball. Here's Spencer. Spartans running out of time. 11 to 7. Here's Strub. Perfect possessions right here. Needed for the Spartans. Strub. Went left and right. And the Cardinals will come up with it. <clears throat> Four thirty left. Eleven to seven. North Central looking to remain perfect on the season. And Forstall picks it up for Aurora. Forstall had a really good day. A couple goals and an assist. Under four minutes left. Spartans. A little desperation passes right here. Bodies flying everywhere. This will remain with Aurora. Reset on the shot clock to 60. Forstall with it. He's going to move to the near wing. Oh, that one just missed off the stick of Kranjus. He tried to go bounce right underneath Murphy. Spartans will have it with 39 on the shot clock, 317 on the game clock, down 11-7. Here's McDonald. He's pushed out of there. Spencer. That one bounced over the crossbar. Murphy was thinking that was a cardinal ball. Spartans will have it with 18 on the shot clock. Can't afford a shot clock violation here. They have got to get a good shot. Here's Cranges. Five seconds, and they will not get a good shot off. 2.41 left. They're going to turn this one over to North Central. North Central with the four-goal lead. can chew up a majority of this game clock.
Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a timeout with 2.19 left here in the fourth. North Central leading 11 to 7 with 2.19 left here in this contest on athletics.aurora.edu. Two nineteen left here in the contest. Game one of our doubleheader. Spartans with 45 shots to 34. North Central. North Central has the four goal lead, 11 to seven. Joey DeCuna. You can see Asher, an extra defender, out there leaving the goal wide open. And I think we're going to have timeout by North Central again. 2.08 left. Another timeout called by the Cardinals here in athletics.aurora.edu. Two oh eight left. Cage wide open with Asher playing as another defender. That ball loose. That's by Tally. And this one score by Dylan Anderson, and that one will do it. Seven buck forty eight left. And this score holds fast. The Cardinals will move to six and zero, oh, and the Spartans will drop to three and four with a home contest Saturday against Kalamazoo. Before they start. couple road games, one at Elmhurst on the 27th, and then a conference game at Marion on the 30th. Before returning back here on the 6th, Senior Day, CUW in town. 70 seconds left. Cardinals can pretty much just wear this clock out. You see? 
Deputy out of the goal again. Nobody, nobody really home with that extra defender out there. Now the Spartans with it. Forstall knocked off the ball. Query comes up with it. And the Cardinals can hold on to this ball. Short trip home for the Cardinals to Neighborville. Fifteen seconds left. I don't foresee the Cardinals taking a shot. Twelve seven is your score, and that will do it. North Central wins today twelve to seven. They remain perfect at six and zero. Oh. And the Spartans drop to three and four. Leader McDonald Bucci and Spencer. Four stall with two and DuPont with one. And four North Central. Charlie Schneider with three. Ilgen with two. Everhart with four. Dylan Anderson with one. Joey DeCuna with one. Ryland McQuarrie with one. And the extra man today for the Cardinals, perfect at four and four. Spartans 0 for 2. 45 shots for the Spartans, 35 for the Cardinals. 43 to 39 ground balls in favor of Aurora. Turnovers 24 to 19. Cardinals with the edge. And the Cardinals win game one of our doubleheader here today, 12 to 7. Game two coming up at 7 o'clock. UW Lacrosse in town. Take on your Spartans. Men's Lacrosse is a final. 12 7 is your final. North Central with the win. See you at 7 o'clock for the Spartans and UW Lacrosse.